You're watching your local television network, TSPN. And now back to Today's Seniors Living Well with your host, Lori Webb. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Today's Seniors Living Well. This is our fourth series, and this is the second show of the fourth series. Last week, we kind of focused on um, things that you can do to keep yourself involved when you age, and today we're really kind of focusing on things that you can do to stay healthy. We just had a nice chat with Dr. Kevin Blasingame, who's an internist here in Amador County who does take new patients, including Medicare patients. We found out all about the Medicare screening uh, welcome to Medicare. And of course, one of the problems that we're all very aware of is um, that type 2 diabetes is on the rise in all age groups, but it's particularly dangerous for older folks like us. And I should know because two years ago I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and I was sent happily to the Sutter Amateur Outpatient Diabetic um, Education Program and I got my own personal diabetic educator in the form of Maureen uh, Mooney Michaels, who is uh, a registered dietitian, registered dietitian yeah. who brought me along a wonderful road to weight loss and dropping my A1C and did all kinds of great things. It's great well, to have you here. Thank you, Lori. Lori is one of our um, poster children <laughs> for uh, diabetes education and making changes, so it's yeah. wonderful. And that's really what it's all about. Um, it is. Because you can't I mean, you can sort of prevent diabetes if you make the changes early enough, but once you get into it, right. you've got to come see the experts. And, and learning it is one step, but it's the doing it part that's the hard part. Mm -hmm. And uh, really, you can make changes to prevent if you don't have diabetes um, or just healthy living mm -hmm. to reduce your risk of diabetes, but also heart disease, mm -hmm. some cancers. Um, and I think sometimes when we age, we think, well, I can't change the wrinkles and I can't change maybe the aches and pains. Gray hair. But well, gray you hair, there you go. Actually. Not there yet, yeah. but getting close. Um, um, but I think it's important to realize what we do in terms of eating and activity, and I know you'll talk about that later, mm -hmm. um, may, can make some really good changes um, to control your chronic disease and also sometimes prevent those. So mm -hmm. that's what's really important, mm -hmm. and if we can get that across, that's our main message. Great. The, now, how long has the diabetic program been in place there? It's been um, quite I, a long time. I think we've been there 14 years. Um, we have an wow. annual uh, diabetes health fair in the fall, and I think this is our 14th annual uh, just passed. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So we're coming up to the 15th year, mm -hmm. and uh, we have uh, dietitians and uh, nurse educators, and we're all certified diabetes educators, so we kind of do the whole program in so terms of... Yeah, that's the CDE after your name. Correct. Is certified Diabetic Educator. Right. Yes. Um, so we really try to look at the whole picture mm -hmm. and the whole person in terms of eating, exercise, stress management, and their diabetes medication mm -hmm. and kind of get that balancing act going on like you've seen. Yes. I, I know the drill well. So yeah. maybe we should talk about what happens. Um, you know, I had my routine annual blood work done and my numbers were over the top so Dr. Bowie sent me to you and I, I think actually I saw Mary Reed first okay and then and what we do is we see somebody for an initial assessment and really try to figure out what knowledge they have and we see patients who are newly diagnosed like yourself mm -hmm. and then we see patients who have had diabetes few years several years a lot, a lot of years. And um, it really is to find out what you need at that time. Is it new diagnosis or is it, I've had diabetes many years and put my head in the sand and didn't want to address it. And so now I'm going to be looking at it. And then we really try to come up with some goals with you, your physician's input and our input to help you to get on the right track. So it does require a physician's referral. Correct. Mm -hmm. We're an American Diabetes Association accredited program, and mm -hmm. that's there's not a 
lot out there in this area who have that accreditation. We just got reaccredited, mm -hmm. um, got our paperwork yesterday in the mail Yay. for four years. Mm -hmm. um, and so we have to follow um, diabetes self-management um, criteria and we have to show that we're making changes mm -hmm. um, that our patients are successful and going in the right direction mm -hmm. and we're evidence-based so that um, we're not just coming from you know something up my so, sleeve right, it's, right. Yeah. yeah so that's why I have to get weighed every time I go exactly <laughs> so exactly at first I came I think every initially we see you um, and it's usually an hour-long appointment uh -huh. and then we see you again usually in three to four weeks yeah I was thinking it was be often. Yeah, yeah, because there's so much information, mm -hmm. and sometimes you can feel really overwhelmed. And so we want to make sure that patient and their family members um, are feeling really comfortable and confident with um, the tools that they're given, because sometimes it feels like there's so much you can't figure out what is your priority. Mm -hmm. And we try to boil it down to three or four goals, usually something with um, food, definitely, balancing the carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. You remember that? That's the new thing. Yes. Yeah. Um, and um, then also an exercise goal and usually a testing your blood sugar goal mm -hmm. um, and then really address the medication you're on and figuring out how that works with within those goals mm -hmm. yeah so and when you get an older patient sort of like I was I think I was in my early 60s mm -hmm. um, you look oh. so young yes <laughs> okay <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Uh, who's on other, I was on some heart medications because I had some heart issues too. Correct. So let's say you get a, um, let's say you get an 80 year old patient who has been ignoring being diabetic, is a little overweight. So that first meeting you weigh them. Correct. We weigh them and we're really looking at them bringing in some information, maybe some food records, maybe um, their blood glucose records, uh, their list of medications, mm -hmm. um, looking at blood pressure as well mm -hmm. to figure out where are they right now. Mm -hmm. What I do for one patient is not necessarily what I do for the next patient mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. terms of um, stringent goals or things like that. Sure. Um, it has to be individualized. Mm -hmm. And then once they go through that individual assessment they have a three-week follow-up and then we figure out there are some classes we have three um, outpatient classes they're two hours each they're really fun classes mm -hmm. we've adapted um, some new class material um, that is um, it's called healthy eye um, and it is, is that I or it's I, 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 okay, yeah. I yeah, healthy yeah. I, um, and it's a uh, cooperation there, the conversation maps, and they're really taking information that we used to give didactically and kind of just stand up there and lecture, really to make it more interactive um, uh, so that patients and their family members can feel like they're participating. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a game. Uh, what Geraldine, one of my coworkers, uh, even uses little cars, matchbox cars, um, <laughs> to move along like the map. So it's kind of fun. Monopoly. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And there's a class on nutrition. There's a class on medication, monitoring, and also um, the complications. So uh -huh. really a fun class. Yeah. After you uh, go through those classes, then we still have a follow-up. And once patients are established, they're doing well we usually will see them two times a year um, kind of for maintenance and, and follow-up right and, and ongoing encouragement exactly yeah. because yeah. that's the biggest thing yeah and one of the biggest take-home points in all of the classes is really um, portions and so I brought my plate today the plate the plate do you yes. remember the plate I remember the plate because um, my plate wasn't so great. <laughs> okay, and and one of the things with the plate is really talking about all different mm -hmm. foods and um, uh, looking at the portions and saying, are meat about the size of the palm of our hand? Mm -hmm. So a woman a smaller size, mm -hmm. men quite a bit bigger, mm -hmm. we don't need that much. So mm -hmm. look at our hands. We don't need meat, or meat bigger than the size of our hand, of our hand and right. about the, si the thickness too. Yeah. And then our starch, and our starch can be rice, potatoes, pasta, mm -hmm. noodles, but mm -hmm. also fruit. And fruit, um, this is some nice um, season for fruit, but yeah, every season has blackberries. some great fruit. So really um, trying to figure out what you can have. Mm -hmm. um, and fruit can be a good choice, but we can get too much of a good thing. Mm -hmm. So if I get an orange this big, once I peel it down, it's probably about the right size. Mm -hmm. If I get a Fuji apple this big though, 
Sometimes they need to share it with right. you. Yes. Yeah. Right. Um, and then on the top here are what are the vegetables. Vegetables. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And that's the biggest key to fill up on those vegetables. Um, get a variety of vegetables in. Big key for 2013 is increasing our fiber, so from our fruits and also our <laughs> vegetables. And so increasing that so it helps with our portions, helps to fill us up keep us regular, decrease our risk of other problems too. All those so, important yeah. side, side effects of vegetables. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So if we can do that. Um, and the big thing is mindlessly eating. We tend to mindlessly eat. And if, yes, exactly. Um, and if we can take that and mm -hmm. mindlessly eat better. Mm -hmm. I, we were able to see um, a speaker from um, Cornell University who wrote this book. His mm -hmm. name's um, Brian Wan Wansick. Mm -hmm. And he really was talking about if we have a plate this eat big, we're going to eat that all. Right. But if we have a plate this big, this yep. big, yep. we can cut down the portions, right. taller, thin glasses. Right. All of those can help us. Great. Um, so eating well, is I a huge it. part of it. Yes. And even though I've been a nurse for 35 years when I came to see you, I learned so much Great. as a result of this. It's, it's, a, it's an absolutely terrific program, absolutely terrific. Now, if somebody had some questions about the diabetic support group or the fair, how would they get a hold of? You can call Sutter Amateur Hospital, mm -hmm. um, and our direct line is 223-7448. 7448. Yeah. For, but that wouldn't be to self-recommend to the program. That would just be to get information. That would be to get information, and if you um, call that number, you're talking to our program coordinator usually, and um, she will direct you. And if we need to get a referral from your physician, we can go ahead and do that. Oh, so you yeah. would do that? Yeah. yeah. Because so. Dr. Bowery was only too eager to get me in there, and I'm glad Definitely. for that. Definitely. So, yeah. Yes. Maureen, well, you have thank been you so fabulous. much. Well, I had great encouragement. Oh. Maureen's been my coach the whole time. <laughs> thank so, you, thank you Lori. So it's great to be today. here today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. We've got more stuff coming up. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.